She danced her way into our hearts during Party of Five and of course during Scream. And now Nev Campbell is bringing the world of dance to the big screen and also giving me tips on my plie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's due. It's good, it's good, I like it. Like for it. a beginner, yeah. Go we'll work on it. <laughs> Long before she was a TV star or a big screen scream queen. You ready for this? Never. This Canadian star was a tiny six-year-old ballerina who had big dreams of becoming a professional dancer. Dreams that didn't come true. She's doing brilliantly. I had injuries young and I had to stop young and I mean luckily I found acting or acting found me and I found another way of storytelling without hurting my body. It didn't happen in real life, but she did get to live out her dreams in the 2003 film, The Company. I have always believed in you. Swan Lake is a huge honor and a huge responsibility. Now Nev is giving viewers the best seat in the house for one of the most famous ballets ever created. You can't go halfway with Swan Lake. She produced Swan Song, a new documentary that takes viewers behind the scenes of a high stakes, high drama production of Swan Lake, directed by ballet icon Karen Kane. Left side, left arm. Dancers are incredible athletes and artists and what they endure to create their passion, their art is um, pretty phenomenal. I do expect to dance as a Swan Queen. It's good drama. What does it show us about just the emotion that these young women are going through? With any athlete to really give up your childhood and your adolescence to fight for something and work your body in a way like a workhorse in order to accomplish something that you really believe in is pretty phenomenal to watch. Ballet, it's like my angel, but it's also like my demon. You have to be a little bit crazy to be a ballerina, I think. <laughs> it's a beautiful art form, but it's unbelievably challenging and painful. And I've had spine surgery, I've had foot surgery, I've, you know, from a young age. And I can do a lot of damage, but at the same time, it's beautiful storytelling. I'm Sydney Prescott, of course I have a gun. Now, Nev's getting ready to do some scary storytelling when Scream 7 starts filming in December. What can you tell us about Scream 7? I can't tell you anything. Right no. <laughs> My lips are sealed. I'm not screaming I can tell this you one. it's going to be good. Um, no, they pitched me the concept. I'm getting the script in the next couple of days. The concept is great. And we will be following Sydney Prescott, which is exciting. Um, and we will have some of the oldies as well, and some great new people. And. Uh, and Kevin Williamson is directing, which I'm super excited about. I know he's very excited because he's always wanted the opportunity to direct one. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. Is it strange for you to think about Scream 7? It's crazy. Years? You never expect when you make a movie that it'll have a life like this. I mean, it's very, I think you can only name a certain amount of franchises, you know, it's rare for that to happen. So I'm grateful to be a part of one, that's for sure. And you can see the brutal and the beautiful life of ballet dancers in Swan Song in theaters and on demand now. Thank you for all the stress you've endured and for all the tears you've cried. They mean a lot to me.